I'm Mrs. Burrows and it's reading time. Today, we're going to spend some time learning some new skills and sharpening up some old ones so that we can be good readers. Come on, let's begin. Today, we're going to learn about making inferences. Here are your learning objectives. By the end of the lesson, you'll be able to make inferences from pictures as well as explain picture clues or details that help with making inferences. Now, I know you're wondering, what is an inference? Well, let me tell you, I bet you make inferences all the time and don't even know it. An inference is a guess that is based on evidence found in clues from the pictures or text, as well as using what you already know in your big, beautiful brain. So remember, the clues, you're going to look for those clues in pictures and in text when you're reading. And then you're going to add that to what you already know in your head and you're going to make a guess or an inference. Let's try one. I want you to look at these pictures, boys and girls, and I want you to look at the clues as well as think about what you already know and make a guess on what's going to happen or make a guess on what these pictures are all about. We have some lemons a bottle of water, and some sugar. Think about the clues, boys and girls. Lemons, water, sugar. And also think about what you know in your head and come up with an inference. Did you make a guess? If you said we're going to make a big jug of lemonade, you are absolutely correct. You use the clues of the lemon, the water, and the sugar, and you thought to yourself, well, I know that my mom uses lemons, water, and sugar to make lemonade, and you made a guess, and your guess was correct. Awesome thinking. Let's try another one. Remember, use the clues as well as what? you already know to make a guess or an inference. Now, I bet that you've seen some of these pictures before. A drum, a scraper, and a saw. Think about it, boys and girls. Think about the clues. And then think about what you already know to come up with an inference. Now, where have you seen these three things together before? And what do you know that is done with these things? Let's see. If you said you've remembered Seeing these things used in a rake and scrape bath, you are absolutely correct. Awesome thinking. The drum, the saw, and the scraper, when you put that together, you get some sweet down-home behavior music. What can you infer, boys and girls? Looking at this picture, Think about the clues that you see in the picture, along with what you may already know to come up with an inference. So we're going to look at this picture again, and this time we're going to pull out the clues or the details that we see in this picture. Now, I know you can see that there is a little girl on a bike with two adults who may be her parents. You see that there's a bike that has training wheels. You're right. 
the lady or the mom is holding on to the bike. The parents are running along with the little girl as she rides. Those are awesome clues, boys and girls. Did you see any other clues? Great job. Now, let's look at the picture again and let's think about what we already know. I know that training wheels are used when you are learning to ride a bike. I also know that sometimes you need an adult to help you learn to ride a bike when you first get it. Let's put our clues and what we already know in our heads together to make an inference. Have you made your inference, boys and girls? I can infer using my clues and what I already know that the little girl is learning to ride her bike. Awesome thinking, boys and girls. Let's try another one. Let's look at this picture. What can you infer? Remember, we have to look at the clues or the details and then think about what we already know in our heads. We're going to look at all the clues and the details first. Hmm, what do you see in the picture, boys and girls? I see that there are children dressed in PE tops. They have tennis on their feet. Hmm. I also see that the kids are lined up in teams. You have the children that are wearing blue standing together, the children that are wearing red standing together, the children that are wearing aqua standing together, and the children that are wearing white standing together. Mm, they're in teams, all right. I know that they are at the track for running. That's right, you've seen that place before, haven't you? I also see that there is a sand pit for jumping. Now, let's think about what we already know in our heads. Here's the picture again. I know that PE uniforms are for when students play sports. Don't you have a PE uniform, boys and girls? I know that the sand pit is for the long jump. I bet your PE teacher has told you that before. I know that every year our school goes to the sports center. Hmm, have you made your inference yet? Did you put the clues together with what you know in your head to make a really good guess? I can infer that the school is having sports day. Awesome inference boys and girls. You use the clues as well as what you already know in your head to make a good guess. Now you try some on your own. Remember to think about the clues and what you already know. Look at this picture. What can you infer? Think about the clues. Think about what you already know. Did you come up with your inference yet? Oh, that's right. The girls are at a party. You did a good job. You see that they had their face painted. You see that there's someone in the corner here with food and there's drinks on the table and people are walking around and playing. Awesome job making a good inference. You use your clues 
as well as what you already know to infer that the girls are at a party. Let's look at this picture. What can you infer? Remember the strategy. Think of the clues of what you see in the picture as well as what you already know in your head and come up with an inference. That's amazing. You're so good at this. The boys and girls are going on a field trip. You see that the boys and girls are sitting in the bus. They're sitting quietly, as well as they're wearing their PE uniforms. They must be going on a field trip. That's an awesome inference, boys and girls. Let's try another one. Take a look at this picture. What can you infer? Oh my goodness, how smart you are. That's right. This little girl is at an Easter egg hunt. She has her basket in her hands. There are colorful eggs on the floor, as well as she has her little bunny rabbit ears on her head and a fluffy bunny rabbit tail. You did an awesome job making that inference, boys and girls. My, 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 you are going to be such good readers. You use the clues in the pictures as well as what you already knew to make an inference. That's all the time we have for our lesson today, boys and girls. I enjoyed this lesson with you. Come back tomorrow for another reading lesson.